this oh that zip we gotta figure out how to get rid of that um today is friday the 29th 28th 29th i think weekend so my friend is getting married this weekend um if you guys have saw i vlogged um the shopping for the dress process bachelorette process and now we are here at the wedding weekend so um i just went and got my eyebrows done um i did my i got my eyebrows waxed my upper lip so my lip is a little tender right now um and right now i'm at starbucks i go get my nails done at one um and then i need to get a pedicure it's 11 23 right now and I kind of want to go get my pedicure now. So my appointment is at one and I'm like 20 minutes away. So I don't think that I, my pedicure would be done like within an hour so that I can make it to my appointment in time. So I'm going to get Starbucks. I need to go to the hair store. So let me tell you guys what happened. Okay. So there's this hair company. Um, I think it's Kali, Kalina, Kalaya. There's this hair company um, that a influencer promoted and i bought hair from there before so the wig that i'm actually wearing is from the company great quality hair everything is amazing so i ordered my hair i was getting the style for the wedding is a low ponytail so i was getting a frontal ponytail so i ordered a frontal and three bundles um shipping was fast everything was fast everything was cool like i was like yes so i'm actually filming an unboxing because they give you like a discount if you post on social media so i was filming an unboxing of it and when I opened the box, I realized I got sent a closure, not a frontal. So I emailed them like, hey, you sent me a closure. Can you please overnight me a frontal, which is what I ordered. Sent them the screenshot of what I ordered. They're like, yeah, we don't have any frontals, so we sent you a closure. Babe, you guys didn't tell me that. Why do you have something on your website that, why are you selling something on your website that you do not have? Like, come on now. So I'm like, listen, I need a frontal. Like, y'all need to figure it out. Overnight me a frontal. That's what I ordered. That's what I paid for. Like, you can, you contacted me to get my email address to verify my address, my shipping address. Why didn't you ask me in that text mess in that email, that text message, if I was okay with getting a closure? Because I would have told you no, and I would have ordered from someplace else so that I could get it in time. Like now, it's way too late for me to try to order from somewhere else. And they're like, yeah, we don't have any frontal, so we send you a closure. We can send you back $45. Baby, I need to go and buy a whole new frontal. You need to refund me for the frontal that you did not send me. Now they're like, they don't want to refund me for the frontal unless I send everything back. I don't think I should have to do that. I paid for the hair. I'm not asking for a refund for the hair. I'm asking for a refund for the frontal that you did not send me. Like... The hair is good. The quality and everything is good. It's just I did not receive what I needed. So I had to cancel my appointment because now I can't get the frontal ponytail because the girl can't do anything with the closure because uh, I can't find a frontal in time. So I lost out on my deposit. I now have to figure out something to do with my hair. So I'm going to have to pay to get something else done or buy additional things so that I could at least achieve the look. It wouldn't be such a big deal, but you guys know that I cut my hair because of the length and the texture of my hair like a ponytail just does not work for me right now so it needs to be in a sewing it needs to be in a quick weave it needs to be in something so either i have to do it myself or i have to pay someone to do it and quite honestly i'm not trying to pay someone to do a sewing or a front or a uh a quick weave so i'm gonna do it myself but now i've lost out on my deposit like this is taking additional time I had to buy extra products to do my hair. Like, this is fucking ridiculous. So they need to refund me. And they're not trying to. So I told them, I was like, either you're going to refund me or I'm going to have to report it to the bank. Because you guys sent me something that I did not order. Like, you sold me something that you did not have. Like, it's fucking ridiculous. So I will never be ordering from them again. I will put the name here so you guys know the company. Because I just think that's bullshit that they did that. Like, you can't just send people something without telling them. Like... It would have been different if they would have informed me that they would not have had the frontal. I would have just said, okay, forget it. I'm going to order for another company. Like, but instead they sent me it. And they didn't even notify me they sent it. Like, if I didn't know what the fuck I was ordering, I would have just accepted this item. And it's about a hundred and something dollars difference between the price of a frontal and a closure. So you just send people stuff. You're not like 
nah, that was all fucked up on so many ways. So, I have so many pimples. I need to get, like, some pimple cream. So, yeah, I'm at Starbucks now. I'm in line at Starbucks. Um, I'm going to go to the hair store so I can get the rest of the stuff for me to do my hair. I'm going to head back downtown to get my nails done. <sighs> And it kind of sucks because the place I want to get my pedicure is actually on this side of town. So I'm going to have to go from this side back to my side. Just come back to this side to get a pedicure. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll try to find some place. I could just go to where I'm getting my nails done. But the last time I got a pedicure there, it was like really expensive. And I wasn't really that great of a pedicure. This other place, I know that they do like really well. Like they scrub your foot for dear life. So... I don't know but yeah that is what I'm doing today and then um tomorrow tonight and tomorrow I'm going to be working on my hair and then tomorrow is the rehearsal dinner and um we're doing like a little mini bachelor bachelorette and then Sunday is Z big day so I will check in with you guys so this is what I got this is honestly not what I was expecting to get. I thought it was an iced coffee, but I see that it was just an espresso shot with oat milk. So, but let's give it a try. All right, guys. So, I'm about to try and do something to my hair. So, I'm going to put this wig on. And depending on how this wig looks, I may be using it for tomorrow. So, um beat it up so you guys can see <laughs> Here we are um i got the wig on um it is hella over bleach 
because the knots on this so this is a wig that i've had this is what i wore to miami so i've had this for a while um i over bleached it because the knots were not bleached and then it bled onto the hair so that's how we're coming um <laughs> but i mean it's working so hopefully uh, my friend's gonna look at it in august she likes the way that it looks i'm gonna do this um i will have like some little sideburns just because i kind of fucked up on the the ear tabs and then i would just put it back into a ponytail curl it and if she wants it to be longer or something um i'll just add one of the bundles in but i'm gonna do my makeup um i did curl it i just put a little bend in it i used my barrel curler and i just wrapped it around as like a wand and then i went in and I flat ironed the ends just because I really like that look right now where you curl the hair but then the ends are straight. I don't know, I just really like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do something with my makeup. I really wanna keep it light um, because I'm gonna have it on for the rehearsal dinner and um, then we're going to dinner and then we're going out. So I don't want like anything too heavy. <laughs> okay, round two, round two, round two, round two, round two. No flash this time. The bad baby. <laughs> Hey guys, so I will be honest, I have not vlogged much. I don't think I vlogged anything today. <laughs> I have a couple clips from um, Instagram that I did, but I didn't even Instagram a lot. Um, last time I talked to you guys, I was working on my hair, which you guys can see is done. Right now, I'm about to get in the shower. Um, I'm gonna tie, I'm gonna tie it down. And then I'm gonna put my bonnet on, which I probably shouldn't have did a bun, but. We're gonna make it work. So. Yeah. I need to do something else. I can't do a bun. Cause I want my bonnet to be able to fit on it. My lace is coming up a little bit over here, so I'll have to reapply that for the wedding. Um, Brittany did say that like how my hair was today was cool, so I don't have to worry about trying to do a ponytail. Um, we will just keep how it was today. Okay, so there we go. Um, so what we did is we did the rehearsal and then after the rehearsal, we went to dinner. Um, we went to this place called Valentine in downtown Willoughby. So the, the wedding is in Willoughby. So we just kind of stayed in the same area. Um, this scavenger hunt. And the guys actually won the scavenger hunt. They won because they started early. Like the girls wasn't even together before they started. And then after the scavenger hunt, pretty much everybody went back to the hotel, but some of us stayed downtown. So like I stayed with Brittany and um, 
couple of the bridesmen and her sister and like one of her sorority sisters. We all like stay downtown. So now we are back at the hotel and I'm removing my makeup. I'm using the Tatcha oil cleanser. This cleanser is so bomb. Like I love using this. Whenever I have like full glam makeup, this is what I use to remove it. Cause it just literally eats everything up. So I'm doing that. And then I'm gonna get in the shower. Uh, my boyfriend is getting me Taco Bell, which I'm very excited about. It's been a really long day. I only ate, only thing I ate today was at the restaurant. And if we're being honest, restaurant was not that great. So the service was like horrible. Um, like, I know that we were a large party, and I completely understand how that can, like, be a lot, but, like, the server was just not, server was not it, so. Me and my boyfriend didn't really order much, because we didn't want to, like, have to deal with the, the server. So, I'm very excited that he's getting Taco Bell. Um, and yeah that we're staying at is the Four Seasons in East Lake, which is a suburb of Cleveland. Um, I'll give you guys a tour and stuff. I brought my own towels for my face. Get in the shower. I'm going to talk to you guys in a little bit. Perfect. Like literally this was everything yeah. that I wanted. The bride. <laughs> hey. Mom of the bride. <laughs> Oh, that's